Let's face it, we all want to look younger. Shops are filled with this cream and that gel, all claiming to help us do just that. But now there's a new phenomena taking the Vichy world by storm. What is it? Botox. Botox the name itself is the chemical name of a pharmaceutical um, botulism A toxin which comes from a bacteria called Clostridium botulum. And um, the toxin is really a neurotoxin and what it does is it blocks nerve cells from conducting the signals into muscles and as a consequence that it can paralyze them. Originally used as a drug to combat various muscular spasms, it has now become famous for one of its side effects, the temporary reduction of wrinkles. Comedian Joan Rivers has been an advocate of Botox, but you may well ask, has it done her any good? Cliff Richard went down the Botox road, but was left with the infamous droopy eye effect. Rumours are rife as to which celebrities are using Botox. Kylie Minogue appears to have avoided the natural ageing process and so looks as wrinkle-free now as she did a decade ago. But it's not just the rich and famous who are using the wrinkle-free treatment, as 38-year-old receptionist Barbara Allen tells us. I decided to have Botox because I'm a very lazy person when it comes to cosmetics. I don't have a regime and I don't think I could discipline myself to have a regime. So the Botox is just, it's done, it's finished. I get up in the morning and I don't have to do anything with it. I had this area here in my forehead done and I also had the area here on both sides of my eyes. The, my forehead had a, a lot of lines through it. A friend of mine told me that I looked like I could park three mountain bikes in it. So I don't have those lines anymore. Uh, I don't have to do anything with makeup or creams. The effect is just there all the time, so definitely I'll have it done again. Not all cases are as successful as Barbara's. Like any drug, Botox has risks. Most of the side effects that you get from Botox are directly reversible within um, probably a 10 to 15 day period. Very rarely, some patients may complain of the fact that they have fatigue or, or weakness and um, some patients may also complain of having a headache but we often see headaches actually disappearing when patients get their frontalis muscle um, injected and um, there have been also one or two cases of anaphylaxis and as a consequence of that um, a doctor should always have um, adrenaline or steroids um, on standby during the procedure. Due to these potential risks, the Irish Medicine Board released the following statement. In the interest of safety, the IMB is advising potential customers that this is a prescription-only product and that only registered medical doctors or dentists should administer this medicine in accordance with the conditions of the licence and has informed the relevant representative associations of its concerns in relation to the cosmetic misuse of Botox. Hi, Caroline. Hi, Patrick. How are you? Despite the minor risks, Botox procedures are on the rise in Ireland. Widespread media coverage and word of mouth have enticed 41-year-old Caroline Cleary to try Botox for the first time. I think that a woman should look the best she can for as long as she can. And I think when you get to a certain stage in your life, when the lines start to appear, that you should do anything you can in order to enhance the way you look. I would cleanse, moisturise um, every morning and evening and I would use day creams and night creams. Um, I haven't found anything that I thought were fantastic and so this is why I'm going to try the Botox. I'll look up to the roof, yeah, okay. I tend to do my consultations on the day that I um, do the procedure. During the consultation also, uh, we, we tend to sort of um, make the patients totally aware of um, what they're getting. I wouldn't tend to do a patient under the age of 30. Most patients tend to be between 35 and 45, slipping into 50s and late 50s. We don't tend to give any local anaesthetic beforehand. Um, we use um, needles that are probably closer to what a diabetic patient would use. They're, they're finer than most sort of ordinary needles that are take, used to take blood or that are used in hospitals. I tend to sort of split the face into two different zones. One zone, would say, above the eye and one zone on the lateral aspect of both eyes. Each zone probably would 
take in the region of about 10 minutes. Eyes are often a wee bit stingier than forehead. Than the forehead, yeah. The patient can use sort of the muscles after the procedure. We advise them not to sort of rub the area in case it sort of um, tends to drift out at the site of injection. And it can do that up to one centimeter. Um, there's certain no-go areas that we don't like Botox to get into, not because of any systemic side effects to the patient, but because of the higher incidence of, of possible it going into a nerve that you don't want um, necessarily to sort of paralyze. And um, most patients may be a little red for about 15 minutes, but certainly could go back to work that day. Botox the facts, best used by the over 30s, costs around 200 euro per zone, lasts up to six months, but remember, approach with care, or you may end up a little too ab fab, darling. What's happened to your face? Darling, darling, she just had a little bit of the Botox. No, it's not Botox, it's Paralox. <laughs> you look like a zombie. She still has emotions, you know. She just doesn't have to pay for them in wrinkles, that's all. I'm happy about that, can you tell? No. Money well spent, it. Money well spent. <laughs>